Hey, what's up, guys? Day 10 is in the books. Last two days, I, uh, I spent, geez, well, all in, when you factor in tip and whatnot, spent $200 last night buying drinks for uh, a designer and, and, and realtor away from the Master Builders Association while we were talking some business. Uh, before that, probably about $40 in groceries I need to uh, account for and the, the money math inside this post. But anyway, uh, big win to report. Uh, picked up a picked up a lead from IKEA. Of all places, I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, more, more on that later. But that has led to signing a design agreement for a one hundred twenty thousand dollar kitchen, which is kind of a bummer because yesterday I was thinking it was going to be about a six hundred thousand dollar whole house remodel. And magically overnight, it got descoped. But uh, them's the breaks. I'll uh, I'll post the the contract and the check uh, that I'm gonna go collect tomorrow um, for 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 uh, proof. Uh, but all all in all, pretty pretty stoked. Uh, yesterday went to the Master Builder Association uh, 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 mixer. Met a very very influential high-end designer, met a couple realtors, met some insurance agents, but the big, the big, big win last night was meeting a, another designer, much like the design relationship I have down in uh, Pierce County for up here in King County. So uh, a lot of things are looking up. Um, more, stay tuned on that project. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a verbal commitment, but um, We'll wait till we have a check signed for the design agreement. Uh, structured the design agreement at a five thousand dollar retainer, unfortunately only at one hundred and fifty an hour, which isn't that bad. There's nothing structural involved, so I should be able to clear probably thirty three percent gross profit on the design agreement, and I think I can push this to build in about six weeks. So it's now game on uh, to, to jockey this project uh, through the RC design process while recruiting subcontractors, uh, specifically for up here in Bellevue, which could be problematic because Bellevue is freaking expensive and there aren't any tradesmen that live here. Uh, so I'm probably going to need to go recruit uh, down, down I-5 a little bit in the town of Renton, definitely Kent, probably Federal Way which splits the difference between Seattle and Tacoma. So we're going to get some good content out of that and recruiting some, some guys. Um, but yeah, so that's looking good. I got my gutter campaign prepared. If you guys want to see the ad, it's, it's pretty sick. I'll show it to you. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. And so this is the ad. Uh, yeah, I, one of my uh, RC portfolio partners is already uh ganked it for for atlanta but yeah so we're going to do a presence day gutter clean giveaway um targeting 10 giveaways before i'll shut the ad off and and so the play here is uh i, I is to take a, a gutter clean crew pay them 100 maybe 150 bucks the most to go clean the gutters and then what i'll do is i'll upsell the homeowner with gutter covers my my pitch will be to have a, a demo of the gutter covers with me and and you know when we're done uh to and and i um, i'll email the pictures to the homeowner and then i'll call them or text them and ask them if uh if they'd like to if they're interested in seeing a way to never have to pay for a gutter clean again and it will cost them less than fifty dollars a month uh finance to do it of course they're gonna be like sure and then i'll show them the uh the gutter covers and upsell them into a, a five thousand dollar plus package at a seventy percent gross margin. Uh, while we're also uh, doing the gutter, uh, the gutter cleans, I'll have the gutter clean foreman uh, identify any any potential uh, siding or roofing issues to see if we can't cross sell that. And then uh, what I expect is for every five gutter cleans I do, I should probably get one set of gutters sold. Uh, more like I prefer one out of three. I'm planning one out of five and I'll be happy with one out of four. But uh, regardless, 
regardless, uh, whenever we sell a package uh, or a gutter cover package, I'll then go to the five or six nearby neighbors and offer them free gutter cleans and, uh, and, and, or basically say, Hey, you know, the Smiths have, have gifted you a free gutter clean. And by the way, the Smiths are having these covers installed. It's only 50 a month. Do you want to do that too? And, uh, and so, yeah, that we'll, we'll hustle up some covers. Uh, maybe we'll pick up, I bet you for every 10, uh, uh, gutter cleans we do, we'll, 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 we'll get a, a siding project and, uh, and for every 20 we do, we'll probably pick up a whole roof, but, um, but yeah, so, so that, that's how we're going to jumpstart the handyman business back on the design build side. Uh, we, we absolutely have a, a really nice, I can't believe we're doing an Ikea kitchen for about 120 grand budget and we should pull 35, maybe 37% gross profit out of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all, uh, all of that GP, which will be somewhere between 35, $45,000 after all the job costing is done. And that's going into uh, building out the handyman business and marketing aggressively the, uh, the design build business. But yeah, this is the ad itself. And then once the giveaway is done, we'll switch to this where it's just, you know, $200 gutter cleans, immediate scheduling. And the ad and the ads itself is written like this. Um, but yeah, so that, that'll be the copy. That's the ad. And that's what we're going to do to, uh, to really promote, you know, really promote the, um, the gutter cleaning, uh, for the handyman business, because, you know, with, with my cash on hand, I got to conserve cash until I get my, until I get that kitchen put in the build, uh, before I can start making the moves that I want to make, um, little nervous just a little nervous because the fastest I'll be able to push that kitchen through design is going to be six weeks and I'll be at just the end of my rope in terms of cash on hand. So I'm, I'm a little hesitant to, to put these gutter ads up, but you know what? We're going to go for broke here. I, I, I don't see any other way straight up. So I'm not going to be a, a little sissy here. I'm going to put the, take my take half my cash on hand put that into uh into gutters into gutter ads and uh and and see if i can't flip uh two grand into 20 grand in the next 14 days we'll see what happens so uh so yeah tomorrow we'll we'll talk contracts we'll talk uh recruiting for the gutter crew we'll talk uh you know setting up the the potential siding the covers upsells uh, we'll, uh, I'll also talk about the moves I have to make to build the, the design team, which I already have the designer in mind. It's, it's going to be one of the designers I met last night to actually do the interior design. Thank God there's nothing structural here. Uh, so that'll, uh, this is going to be really cool having just met them and then being able to turn around and provide them a, uh, a, a lead. Uh, that that'll do wonders to build a deep relationship with a designer up here in Seattle, like we have uh, from down in Tacoma with Kirsten. So yeah, uh, day ten, lot going on, a lot of things moving in the right direction. Not nearly as fast as I'd like, but I mean, when when you look at the uh, yeah, I need to build a, a two million dollar business in 180 days. It's day ten. We've spent 5.56% of the challenge and we've already incurred, we're already 6% towards our goal. So we're a little ahead of schedule, but I don't like just meeting standards. I like exceeding standards. And so by the end of February, uh, which will be, uh, well, anyway, when we hit, um, when we hit the 10% mark, I'd like to see us 15% towards our goal or better. Uh, that would make me feel a lot better. And I think we can do that uh, through the gutters. But anyway, that's where we're at. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be good.